Dr. O, we've come under attack! Kira and Ethan are gone! Whoa, slow down, Connor. What happened? Zeltrax sent a new giant army to attack the Zords! They drained power from Kira and Ethan's Zords and transported them somewhere! I managed to get away, but Durano is low on power! Okay, let me see if I can get in contact with them. It's a long shot, but maybe they are still in communication range. Kira, Ethan, do you read me? Dr. O, do you have any idea what happened? We've been transported to some freaky dimension! I think Mezagog's trying to capture all of the Zords! Dr. O, we're low on power. This may be our last transmission. Can you find a way for us to get out of here? Hold on, you two. I'll figure out a way to get you and the Zords back. Okay, Connor. It's up to you to rescue them. First, you need to get the Tyrannozord back to the tar pits so we can get you powered up. Then we can work on getting the guys back. The creatures will be looking for you, so you'll have to be quick. On my way, Dr. O. I'll get them back. You can count on it. I know you can. Don't worry. I'll be here with you every step of the way. Connor, I'm glad that you made it back in one piece. Let's get Tyrannozord powered up right away so we can begin rescuing Kira, Ethan, and the Biozords. Mezagog's forces will be looking for us, so we'll have to move fast. It won't be easy. While I work on opening an Invisiportal, you need to get the Tyrannozord back into shape. Get Tyranno to the Red Mission Beacon. I'll give you new instructions once you arrive. You got it, Doctor! You can walk through the tar, but it will prevent you from jumping. Ready to start mission one. Good work. It's time to get the Tyrannozord powered up. There are three power cells scattered around the tar pits. Grab all of them to fully power Tyrannozord. The physics matrix of your Zord will allow him to air jump. To perform the air jump, press the X button to jump. You've performed the air jump. Good work. Dino Gem awarded. Dino Egg collected. Great. Tyranno's power levels have increased. Your Zord's power levels can be found in the upper left corner of your display. Now, grab the remaining power cells. Jump while in tar. Mission complete. Great work. Here are your results. You have activated a new Red Mission Beacon. Go there and I'll upload the Tyranno with the Weapon Systems Test. Are you ready to start Mission 2? 
Now that your Zord is fully powered, it's time to test the weapon systems. Use the square button to unleash Tyranno's Dino Blast. Wow, it worked! That's good news. Your primary weapon doesn't appear to be damaged, but we need to be sure. Continue to test your Dino Blast on the remaining targets. We need to work fast. Mesogog's forces could be here any second. Use your Dino Blast to destroy all of the targets. Let's do it! We found a Dino Dart! By pressing the R1 button, Tyranno will gain awesome. Tyranno is capable of running at amazing speeds. Dino Gem awarded. Watch it! There may be people inside. Try not to be so careless. Collect 100 Dino Bolts to restore all swords to full power. Looks good so far. Keep testing out the various targets. Use your Dino Blast to destroy all of the targets. We're almost done. There are still some targets left. Collected. Use your Dino Blast to destroy all of the targets. weapon tested perfectly. Mission complete. A new red mission beacon is available. Go there and I'll upload the final system's test for the Piranha. Watch it! There may be people inside! Try not to be so... Are you ready to start mission 3? One more thing to test out. Tyranno's Ground Stomp Special Attack. I've activated your first special attack. Press the circle button to use it. Tyrannosaur! Fantastic! You've released Tyrannos Ground Stomp Attack! Connor, my sensors are picking up an energy surge somewhere inside the surrounding mountains. The only problem is, the entrance is blocked by massive boulders. Looks like you're going to have to break through. You will have to destroy the orange generators to release Dino Claw power-ups. Let's go! inside. Try not to be so careless. You found a Dino Claw power-up. With each Dino Claw, you will be able to unleash Tyranno's Ground Stomp attack. You need to find a way through the boulders and into the cave entrance. find a way through the boulders and into the cave entrance. There's the cave entrance. You'll have to break through. Whoa! Looks like the cave entrance is clear. Head inside, but use caution. The energy surge has become stronger, and I don't know what it is. Good work! You've got him! Mission complete! Collect all of them to unlock bonus sword games.
start mission one. Are you ready to start mission four? There's the first wave of lovers. Get used to seeing them because many more are coming. You've got to hold them off. I need more time to open the Invisiportal. Destroy all the lobbers and keep Tyranno safe, no matter what! Great idea! Tyranno's special attack will make short work of the lobbers. Mission complete. Are you ready to start mission five? Connor, I'm ready to open an invisible portal to rescue Kira and the Terrazord from the other dimension. Only triggering the portal with Terra Dinosaur DNA can bring Kira and the Terrazord through. We've got to find some Terra Bones in order to obtain the DNA. Searching? I think I found something. Yes, I'm projecting white beacons on your display to show the Terra Bone locations. Head for the beacons and uncover those bones. It's our only hope. Time to head for the back of the net! Let's make this happen! We're running out of time. Find the fastest way to get all of the Terra Bones to the Invisiport. Sensors are still indicating traces of Terra Bones. Pick up and deliver the remaining bones to the board. Don't give up. Remember, we're a team. Keep gathering the Dino Bones. All you have to do now is summon the Terrazord using the internal Thunderzord link. Press the triangle button to summon the Terrazord. Thanks for getting me out of there. That place was creepy. Welcome back, Kira. The Terrazord is going to be a great help in defending the Earth from Mezagog. Mission complete. You have unlocked the Terrazord. collected a Power Morpher. Collect all of them to unlock bonus Zord games. You have unlocked the Red Hawk Zord in the Rock Quarry. Start mission six. We now have two Zords to use against Mezagog. By using the Thunder Zord link, you can switch between them by pressing the triangle button. Terra Zord! Guys, it's no longer safe in the tar pits now that Mezagog knows where we are. We need to get the Zords out through this Invisiport, but first we've got to boost its power. You'll need a plasma boost. I've hidden one high within the mountains in the event we were attacked. You'll have to go up there, find the plasma boost, and bring it to the Invisiport. Although the Tyrannozord is great for exploring ground terrain, the Terrazord will give you the ability to explore high mountain passes. Using the Terrazord is a completely different world. To help you out, I projected a series of holographic rings for you to follow high into the mountains. Tap the X button to fly higher and higher. This is gonna rock!
fly through the rings and tap the X button to make the Pterozord move its wings and fly. This area is familiar. I'm getting sensor readings that the plasma boost is close by, somewhere up this mountain. And that's not right. This tree is out of place. It seems familiar, but it's massive and of some strange color. There's some kind of energy force strengthening it. Give Tyrannos ground stomp attack a try. Tyrannos on! Now I have a plasma. Get it to the invisible portal so we can get this orb to the Reefside Canyon. Dino Egg Collected. Way to go, guys. We now have an access to Reefside Canyon. Mission complete. Are you ready to transport to Reefside Canyon?